Hello there, this is David Allen from Max Money Questions and uh, I've been asked recently by a YouTube subscriber if it's possible to have two videos running at the same time within the one video and you can do that quite easily within ScreenFlow. As you can see here I've set up two videos side by side. One of them I've put a reflection on there and the other I've put on a drop shadow. Now you don't necessarily want to have these running both at the same time audio wise but you could have them running both videos at the same time and then choose whichever audio you want out of the two videos at any particular moment. So how are we going to do that so that we can split up the two lots of audio? One way to do that would be to do some splitting of these audio tracks and video tracks down here. As you can see I've got the two audio video tracks are actually together there. So what I'd need to do first of all is I would need to detach the audio from that and then I would also have to do the audio detachment from this one here too. Let's just move this up so we can see what's going on a bit better there as well. I'll put a nice little wood texture on the back of that there and I can now run both of these videos and I can see what's happening with the audio at the same time too. So let's just uh, click on play and just see how bad it is with two audios running at the same time. And it's not that do difficult. Basically so I think probably the best thing to do with uh, getting this sorted out would be to select the two audio tracks and say we've got a point here for instance where we want to have the two audios not playing at the same time. Okay so we've got the two audios selected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the T key on the keyboard and it splits the both of those tracks. And So what I could do now is I could choose which of those two tracks that I wanted to play the audio from. So for the moment let's just uh, deselect and then select that there and so for the first part of this we're going to have the two videos running but we'll have the audio just from the one of them and then we could do the same sort of thing again further down the line here so take that one there and this one here and this time what we're going to do is press the T key again and it could well be that what we're going to have is at this point here we're going to have the audio from the second one running instead so let's say we get to this point here and the audio is going to change and a freeze frame from one video audio section to the other. And you can do that all the way along through the uh, thing if you want to. Now what you could do on the other hand as well is say for instance say we want to have the audio change at this point here. We could take that section here. We could go to the audio tab up here and we could put in a audio action. So we've got audio action there and at that point there we could say that the audio volume is going to drop down to maybe 15, 20, 10 percent, something whatever, whatever is just right for you there. And we could do the same sort of thing with this one here. So leaving the playhead in the same place and this time we're going to add another audio action. We've got the audio at 100 percent. This is one way and then it, it comes down to 11% at the end of the audio action. Okay. And we'll just do it the other way around on this other track here. So this time we have this track selected. So it's gone down from this one here. So we want it to go up on this one here. So we've got 100% at that point there. In fact we've got 106% on that one there. And move it down to here and we've got 10% there. So there we should get an audio changeover from those two tracks. This is one way of doing it. I'll go to this thing over here. Well that should work where you got the audio swapping from one to another. You can do other things with the audio there as well. Say for instance on this one here I want to have it so that we've got a different sort of effect. Have it sound like it was in a medium sized chamber for instance. I'll go to this thing over here. So could you tell there that we've got a different sort of sound to the audio there? So there you go, a few more things you can do with ScreenFlow version 3. But by now if you've got some questions about how to do things with ScreenFlow or any other Mac applications why don't you uh, drop me a line and let me know.